if my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So today we are going to start behavioral psychology. What is the meaning of behavioral psychology? Yes. So behavioral psychology is like a theory. Okay. It is learning a theory. Learning is also there, right? Learning, learning. We haven't touched learning. We have not touched learning. No, I think we had studied. Uh, yesterday we study factors affecting learning, motor learning, problem solving, attitude learning, types yeah. of learning. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is enough, ma'am. No? Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is the behavioral psychology. It's a theory suggesting that environment shapes us, shapes human behavior. Behavioral psychology means environment shapes us, shapes human behavior. We can also say behavioral psychology is the study and analysis of observable behavior. We know our psychology make, becomes by our behavior, by our uh, environmental behavior. Or we can say environment makes our behavior. Okay, so behavioral psychology is the study and analysis of observable behavior from our environment. The term psychology was coined in 1590 by Rudolf Goetle. This term is derived from two Greek words, psyche and logos. First word means soul, psyche means soul, and second word means science or knowledge. Okay. The word psychology meaning science of study of soul. Sorry, science or study of soul. Psychology as the science of behavior. Okay. Study of soul or we can say knowledge of soul, science of soul or science of behavior. John B. Watson, it's very important name in psychology, is credited as the man who made psychology as a science, as a positive science. So if question can ask that who make psychology a positive science or science of behavior? No, only positive science. Then we can say it is by John B. Watson. Watson defined psychology as science of human behavior. Okay, it, it is clear from this that who said that as science of human behavior, psychology is a science of behavior. That's the most important. Okay. Watson, J.B. John B. Watson, J.B. Watson defined psychology as science of human behavior in 1911 and later published his famous article in 1930. On Science of human behavior, uh, psychology and science of human behavior. The article introduced behavior, and that's a should it like I, I had mentioned. Okay. Article introduced behaviorism theory as an important perspective in psychology. Okay. That article introduced behavior behaviorism theory as an important perspective in psychology. Psychology was explained having a scientific approach the study of behavior okay that psychology explained study of behavior psychology as a study of behavior 
In 1879, the first psychological laboratory was established in University of Leipzig by German philosopher psychologist Wilhelm Wundt. Or direct question can ask Wundt. Wilhelm Wundt, uh, who set up the psychological laboratory first time in 1879 at University of Leipzig. Wilhelm Wundt uh, was the first to measure human behavior accurately and is known as father of psychology. Father of psychology is Wilhelm Wundt. He established a university and measured human behavior accurately. And before him, John B. Watson studied and uh, gave the theory psychology as science of human behavior in 1911. Okay, so that's it. I mentioned here only the most important points that uh, psychology coined by, coined by Rudolf Buckley. And uh, it, it comes from Greek word psyche plus logos. Psyche means soul and logos means knowledge, study of soul. And signs of behave, behavior given by John B. Watson. Okay, John B. Watson. Okay, so sh shall we move? Just one second, I'm making a note. Behavioral psychology is a theory suggests that our, our environment playing a major role in making our psychology. Our environment make us a special or we can say our, our identity, our behavior. Individual's behavioral identity, we can say, may, uh, shape by environment okay okay aarti ji yes ma'am who is the father of psychology john b watson okay <laughs> Here is mentioned Wilhelm Wundt was first to measure human behavior accurately and known as father of psychology. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Next is the term behavior includes term behavior includes all the motor, cognitive, affective activity. Okay. Motor comes uh, every physical activity, cognitive activities comes from uh, all thinking, uh, thinking, memory, learning. We, are, we had studied yesterday all the cognitive activities. Okay. And next is affective activities. That's the feeling, have, uh, our emotions, happy, sad, angry. These are affective activities. These all comes under behavior. That's why psychology is the science as science of behavior. The term behavior refers to the entire life activities and experiences of all the living organisms. Okay. Behavior refers to the entire life activities and experiences which consist motor, cognitive and affective activities. Next is behaviorism. The school of psychology originated with behaviorism. Who is origin originate this? School of psychology originated by John B. Watson. Most important behaviorism given by John B. Watson. 
he insisted that psychology should be restricted to the study of activities of people and animal their behavior what he tell so that psychology should be restricted to the study of activities of people activities of people and animals that's the be, uh, behaviorism or behavior okay the behavior the activities of people and their animals that type of study come under in psychology next is uh, these are most important definitions of psychology psychology is the science of human behavior walter bowers pillsbury in 1911 psychology is a science which aims to give us better understanding and control of the behavior of organism as a as a whole psychology is a science which aims to give us better understanding and control of behavior of the organism that is william m c tugger and next is jackson that is somehow okay psychology is an investigation of human and animal behavior of of the mental and physiological process associated with the behavior by jackson okay so these are uh, definitions of psychology given by some famous psychologist here i have some doubt that it is science of human behavior we had studied uh, it is by john b watson and here is mentioned walter bowers pillsbury number two. <clears throat> human behavior behavior word uh, was yeah, yeah. by watson mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's 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 that if we talk about science of behavior in the options if we see uh, watson we should opt for watson rather than yeah okay so when you when have doubt ask him hmm okay next is uh mental back to the previous slide i was just making a point for the last okay. definition okay okay Yeah. So this is about mental health causes and consequences of mental conflict and frustration. So what do you understand by frustration? When activity directed towards a goal is blocked, it results in frustration. Whatever your desire, whatever you want to get. any uh, any job or uh, job or any uh, position in uh, anywhere any thing do you any want that is blocked and you you are not getting this it results in frustration okay frustration has been derived from latin word frusta meaning obstruct and what's the uh, or it creates unpleasant emotions frustration creates unpleasant emotions creates tension or stress so we can say that different type of mental disorders or mental problems like stress depression tension these are coming from frustration 
or starting from when uh, any activity is directed towards a goal is blocked in an individual then it comes it from, comes in fr front of us as a frustration or in them okay and frustration creates unpleasant emotion it disturb our emotions in this state one experiences a major obstacle in the satisfaction of one's basic need an individual experiences a major obstacle in the satisfaction of needs or goals there are two sources of frustration external frustration or personal frustration personal frustration caused by condition within oneself an external comes outside of oneself like external frustration like uh, we we are not um, we have no any role in getting something okay but um, first understand about personal frustration personal frustration caused by conditions within oneself when we want something and we had some goal and we did not get that and we are not getting too much um, too much practice to get them so it gives us personal frustration okay an external frustration condition outside of oneself they are not conditions not related with that individual but somehow they get frustration maybe from uh, any other person okay means uh, they uh, he in external frustration they had no any personal uh, personal benefit or we can say that they want something and they did not get this is not in external frustration okay external frustration comes from any point in that world in their environment that's the external frustration okay conditions any conditions outside of oneself they have no any aim to get this get anything by themselves but anyhow they get frustration maybe by any uh, an object or a person or in family in job from environment that's the external frustration and next is personal frustration okay so these are the two sources of frustration and frustration creates unpleasant disturbed emotions in an individual it complete disturbs our personality or psychology or thinking you can say because it creates an obstruction in our thinking in our behavior okay that's it about frustration and next is different okay shall we move <clears throat> So next is external or internal factors which affect our frustration. So there are so many external or internal factors that affect our fr uh, frustration, like external factors like physical factors, social and economic factors. If we have any uh, disturbance or fi uh, financial problem, so that's our, our economic factor uh, for our frustration. Maybe social factors, any tradition or law or restrictions, taboo, 
let's come under social factors okay they also come in uh, or get in our uh, in frustration physical factors like natural calamities obstacle in environment any environmental situations that come under in physical factors or affect our frustration next is internal factors internal factors like physical abnormalities if we have any physical ab abnormality that that show in our body as a frustration conflict of motives high level of aspiration and we did not get that that thing which we want lack of persistence and sincerity in efforts if we have lack of persistence lack of practice sincerity hard working in our effort then we we are somehow not able to get that aim that goal or it takes time and in so on it uh, it shows us as a frustration okay so next is important reactions are as follows important reactions in frustration first is direct approaches increasing trials changing the goals direct approaches we can say that in frustration we get direct direct approach and uh, frustration like uh, if we are giving trials and trials are increasing like uh, i had give, given three or four times ugc net exam and i am not selected so it gives me uh, coming a uh, frustration from my mind this is direct approaches okay or maybe i can changing the go my goals again and again that is also direct approaches reactions of frustration next is restlessness and tension when increased effort and subtitle substitute goals are are unavailable and unacceptable when increased effort and substitute goals are unavailable and unacceptable means uh, we are you can we can also understand this by example that uh, we know now uh, ugc net grf exam is in december so if today or tomorrow a, a news came that this exam is shifted in next year december so you got shocked okay so maybe you can frustrated by this means your goals are now an unavailable or going far okay or, or uh means uh, yoga paper is shifted in next year only yoga paper is shifted from next year so this is also an acceptable so it gives us restlessness tension and comes in as a frustration okay next is aggression uh, that's it um, by if we have any um, direct or displaced aggression if we have frustration so it, it can show is directly or displaced aggressive if we have frustration so it we can show it directly on the mouth of other or by like we have frustration uh, to ugc net uh, so we can directly go and mail him okay and displays aggression like we are aggressive on our family member or an our friend okay on them our aggression or anger go on okay not on uh, the head of ugc net exam okay so it is displaced means we are changing the object or person for giving us our frustration 
and direct is we are direct uh, frustrating on a an individual which give us problems which which uh, give us them which give us in aggressive or we can say in problematic sorry okay so this is aggressive next is apathy when they are unaccess unsuccessful in their attempts at satisfying their needs that is same apathy when we are giving too much trial they are not selecting this that gives us in comes under in frustration fantasy we have a different type of thinking imagination uh, that i want this i want um, that huge palace a uh, dream world that's the fantasy and if they are not fulfilled then it comes in front of us as a frustration okay stereotype people will st uh, stupidly make the same effort again and again though experiences had shown its futility okay so uh, like stereotype if the uh, anyone anyone make same effort again and again and they know that this is not fulfill but after that he he or she trying again and again same thing so it gives them frustration regression return to more primitive modes of behavior regression is like uh what we can say like badla lena okay regression return to more primitive modes of behavior now that individual's behavior return into more primitive mode he want to take revenge comes in under frustration okay. that's it important reactions of frustration that comes under in maybe direct approaches restlessness and tension aggression apathy fantasy stereotype and regression there uh, are now just scroll the slide up because um, the last point is not visible okay th that's it uh, reg regression yeah there's apathy also no? towards the end the fourth point is apathy seventh is regression mom we can't see what is below apathy apathy also it's cut okay yeah one second hmm. yes now is it okay no hmm. Ma'am, yeah. Ma'am, uh, I think this regression is. Uh, I mean, suppose if someone you know used to smoke regularly and that person has left the habit of smoking. but then yeah. again uh, due to stress that uh, person again falls back to the same uh, behavior so i think regression is that and uh, not revenge okay return I mean, to more primitive mode of behavior ha huh, going back again to the same habit which yeah. one has left yeah okay so any type of primitive mode of behavior primitive primitive thinking primitive mode of behavior in anything that comes un under in regression they are pointing out oh, okay. again are uh, their frustration in regression mode okay so you are saying all right mam i think it is uh, uh, going into the id level of behavior from this 
Freud psychology, uh, Freud's uh, psychoanalytic theory, we are yeah, going yeah. into the state where the instinctual behavior comes out. Hmm. Primitive behavior, yes. Yeah, which is like without any thought, without any rationality, they just go into whatever comes into their mind. They, yeah, yeah. Now, like what, now I want to do this. I want to get this. If uh, we can say that uh, if a college uh, boy uh, get, uh, or we can say, uh, get no from any girl, then he takes regression. That's also come. That uh, I I I again talk with him. I again want to get him. That also come in regression. Okay, you understanding? Yes, ma'am, got it. Yeah. Hmm. So that's it. Next is yeah. That is what is conflict. Conflict, a painful state or condition of an individual in which he experiences an intense emotional tension. Any painful state or condition of an individual, an individual in which he experiences intense emotional tension. He or she feeling a painful state our condition he experiences emotional tension why why it is happen sometimes it is difficult to choose uh, two desirable goals because desires are contradictory in nature we cannot satisfy fully at that time at one time when we are going market and we have two same beautiful dress in front of us. So we are just confusing or in conflict. This type of thing uh, in, from both of them, which should I want? Okay, so these get trouble in them to choose because both are desirable. Or uh, these uh, are desiring things are contradictory in nature. Every time it is changing. Maybe in third shop we can also get a more beautiful item. So our desiring thing change. So it it makes in conflict. It fruitful in conflict. So uh, whenever we have we are not focused on our aim we can say or so much so much goals in front of us so much goals in front of us and we always are in confusing what we get if we are not setting our priority so then definitely we come under in or we get the conflict okay now um we can also that the ex get the example that I am selected in Navy, Air Force, and Army. If I am not se selecting my aim or goal, that I just want Air Force. Okay, so I if I I will not set my priority, then definitely I I got in trouble or in conflict. Okay, because our desiring uh, desires are contradictory in nature and always uh, they can't satisfy fully at the time. Maybe after that we, we get some more, uh, any other desirable thing. Okay. It is needed that we had desire to get some, uh, some goal, but it is in positive way. That whatever I get, whatever I get from my success, my hard work, that's it. Okay. Now, uh, that's the types of conflict. Conflict between person and person. Conflict between a person and his environment. Conflict between 
within a person of motives desires and impulses this this example is uh, is come under third type of conflict conflict within a person of motives desires and impulses what type of impulses how many type of impulses comes under in an individual their desires their motives okay uh, in youth this is happened more most of the time they are always confusing that um, should i go there or there both are very important should i attend this seminar or um, this webinar which is more good for me is it good to attend this workshop or not is it good that uh, i had get, get that opportunity or not they are always confusing most of the students okay and businessmen also they are facing the same problem should i put, uh, should i put these money on the um, this business or not okay next is conflict between a person and his environment this is about person and his environment anything which are coming which are coming from environment which disturbing them or which are not trying to set their priority or they are so much which are desired by that person from environment that makes us that's make them conflict in conflict next is person and person if two person uh, are not is not satisfying in an uh, in a point we can say uh, in a point or or not uh, balancing their uh, thinking understanding then they get conflict that no i am right whatever i am saying i am right and other person is saying also same so that this gets us in conflict both of them in conflict okay next is resolution of conflict and frustration how resolve this is most important according to yoga okay resolution of conflict and frustration so this is very important for studying yeah. so what type of uh, practices process we had done for we should done for resolution in of conflict and frustration this uh, we had study in yoga system some which are santosh and sadhu sang that's most important some shanti which are vivek which are santosh patience sadhu sang uh, sit in a good company that that all for make us uh, out of frustration and conflict okay according to yoga seek advice from others shravan manan nididhyasan any anything in front of us any goal just uh, first of all hear what is it manan what i am doing i am um, preparing for ugc net exam so keep trying to manan on them that is it right or not what i am how i am preparing what i am studying how i am studying okay so these are some things in yoga that we will have to understand and practice on them focus on them for resolve it 
and more thing is uh, in yog darshan mentioned what is mentioned maitri karuna mudit upekshana maitri karuna so we, we should maintain maitri and karuna for uh, for getting out from this conflict between person and person karuna person and his environment or um, in bhagavad gita also they said that we are uh, we just follow the way of shri krishna the uh, positive marg nishkam bhav karma we just uh, we will have to uh, move on that way so we will not get any frustration or conflict okay is it right so that's are some resolution technique according to you and you can also uh, write more things like if we practice pranayam dhyan so we are uh, we can set priorities our emotions our aims clearly okay so that's it time had gone anyone have doubt usha ma'am usha ma'am arti ma'am anita ma'am no ma'am hmm. next is okay so these are mental disorders tomorrow we just cover we will cover stress depression and anxiety disorder okay tomorrow monday will be the last class slide monday will be the last class ma'am maybe if all men disorders are uh, completed then monday maybe last class or maybe we can take two or one or two classes no problem yeah but we will to include the uh, important questions ma'am from the previous year and all that yeah yeah we will do we'll do one full class of only questions hmm. look how many questions uh, are getting i i will get it depends on them but depends class depends on questions okay. to try to and, and also questions. daily i am asking questions uh, from what i had studied ma'am the problem is the, those are very direct questions like depending on the concept that you have thought um, we are answering it but the questions in the exam are a little tricky they are comparative analytical they also need a little bit of reasoning and all that so those questions are typically for the from the examination point of view yeah that's depend on uh, that's why i'm saying na that yeah. how many that questions we, we will help so um everyone yeah, from my side that. i from my side i found all the questions and will Uh, discuss in class. Yeah, whoever okay. can bring questions, say uh, um, we'll also let them know in the group that they can bring questions and we can discuss those questions. A day before we discuss the questions, we'll all give it to you, ma'am, and hmm. we can okay, discuss okay. it in that class. One day before that, we'll give it to you. You can see. We can discuss in the class. Okay. So. uh we can set this that uh, for for monday class that will be oh, everyone can take questions from last year or any type they want to make questions so we will discuss yeah, today today we'll, on yeah today we'll put it in the group so whatever psychology questions they need for discussion they can bring all of those questions up okay okay usha ma'am okay ma'am you can Uh, send this message to in group. Uh, Ma'am, I just wanted to ask that how many questions uh, come from this uh, psychology topic because I cannot see many questions in the question paper. Yeah, maximum uh, four to five maximum. Okay. Okay. 
because psychology mental disorder also comes in anatomy anatomy part i didn't come in anatomy uh, like uh, i think it did come in the uh, practical yoga or something practical yoga also no, not practical yoga what about therapeutic yoga therapeutic yoga yeah but uh, all disease mental disease any these also come in that area also Uh, ma'am uh, like you know see i just saw a question uh, usha ji you can also listen like uh, there's one question in uh, i guess june it was imbalance at emotional level uh, uh, level manifests as then the options are upsurge conflict happiness and bliss so these are the types of questions they are asking in question papers and ma'am i have previous year question papers so i'll uh, just sort out the questions and let me just put it in the next class then yeah you can put it <clears throat> and what's the last question you you asked am question was imbalances at emotional level manifest as so we have to mm -hmm. tell uh, what is what it is called it is called upsurge conflict happiness or bliss so the answer is uh, upsurge so i guess this okay. is from um, psychology only because it talks about conflict happiness okay okay you you share the message in group then we will discuss all the questions okay yeah okay so hari om to all of you uh, join your hand yes anyone raising their hand yes manjusha ji oh, ma'am it was earlier i'm done okay okay spine erect eyes closed join your both hands om sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu nidhamaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ओम शांति 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 सर्वाष्ट सुशांति हरिओम टू लव यू मीट टू मैम थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मैम